Oh yeah. Gonna munch on some food real quick. Turn on some chill to it. You're supposed to be this. What's up, guys? How are you? Let me turn down that face again. That's a good. How is everybody? Let me just uh, finish 
munching on some get home food. Sure, it's pleasant to listen to. Very tasty. All right. All right, so uh, just so you know, I ended up winning a free vacation. That's right, a free vacation. Uh, the place is rather warm during uh, the summer months, um, which the summer months are pretty long, uh, special suits. Uh, takes years to get there, uh, but, you know, just, it's what I can do. I haven't actually tested this to see if it runs right. Uh, welcome to Vulcan. I wanted, I, I heard something about this, and, um, I wanted to test it out, and I wanted to test it out with you guys. Uh, this is the planet Vulcan. This is Stationers. If you don't know, Stationers is extremely special because Stationers um, is like a hardcore uh, uh, type of space simulator. So right now, what we're gonna do? We're going to deconstruct this lander. Because what we need. These tools. So Vulcan. Uh, is around a black hole. Come here. Now, uh, also, Vulcan's um, atmosphere is mostly hydrogen. Can anyone tell me what you happens when you mix oxygen with hydrogen? Yep. 
this entire world, it's 53% uh, hydrogen. Close. Uh, that is uh, H2O. That's when you mix oxygen and uh, something. I don't remember. Well, no. Hydrogen uh, is commonly used in, I don't know, hydrogen bombs. It's a volatile chemical. And when you mix hydrogen with oxygen, O2, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get explosions. You get fire. I think it's empty. Damn. Oh, well. We'll do this. Boom. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to try that. I didn't know if it was actually true. Anyway, we're going to play a little bit of uh, this game. We have a couple options. Moon and Mars are one of the easier options. Europa is ice. Uh, Mimas is, I believe, a moon. Uh, you got Vulcan, which orbits a black hole. I have the asteroid belt, and we also have Venus. We're going to check out Venus real quick. Anybody know uh, about Venus? Do you, does anybody understand the uh, complexity of Venus? So right now, right off the bat, if you follow my mouse and look down here, this is the external temperature. It's currently 463 degrees Celsius. It's very hot. And that's with the sun down. Venus is right next to the sun. And there is one thing I want to test. Temperature in the solar system. Exactly. Now, this is just during the night. If I was to wait for daylight, also the Russians sent a probe to it. I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, if I was to wait for the sun, what can you imagine happening? I am in a um, very specialized space suit. Hard suit. If we open up a stationpedia, we can actually look here. It's shatter resistance is 272.15 Celsius. You praise it. Check it. You become a charred bone man. <laughs> you know, yeah, basically. Uh, basically, anything that you're wearing, no matter how hard it is, is usually meltable. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait. We're going to wait to see just how 
terrible the temperature is. And then we'll do something on Mars. I am no expert in this game. And I've been watching someone, well, mainly just listening to someone, uh, play uh, Venus. And that's one of the hardest things I think I've seen anyone do on this. So a quick rundown uh, while I wait for the sun to come up and I can melt my face off. Um, this is me. This is my jetpack thrust. I can fly up. Fly down. This number here is how much remaining thrust I have. This is my target temperature. This is my target uh, pressure. Uh, this is my external readings. External pressure is 238K. Uh, the external temperature is 463 Celsius. These are my vitals. Food, thirst. I can access my backpack. I have different tools and a wire. I have food and water. We won't need those. We have a portable solar panel, road flares, mining belt, atmosphere analyzer. Let's take a look. What's that I see on the horizon? Oh, it's sunlight. Wonderful. So this planet is mostly comprised of carbon dioxide, nitrous, I, I believe it's nitrous, N2, and X, which this game specifies for chlorine. Uh, which means if I breathe that, I'm basically dead. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that away. We have a network analyzer. We have a medical bill. Uh, we watch. We won't need. Waste capacity is already pretty high. This is my waste tank, and this is my oxygen tank. I have carbon dioxide filters, um, but it won't matter. Ah, it's getting hotter. Praise the sun. I think my suit can withstand temperatures up to like 600 degrees Celsius. But my suit is also working overtime by shoving my oxygen into my waste tank to keep myself cooled. So that's why I'm already using up so much of it. It's so hot. Horizon sun is still pretty bearable. Oh, that was close. I almost died from exploding myself. Now, all I heard was that basically if you was to go outside on Venus, you'd basically melt in your suit. Which, I kind of see that. <laughs> but the temperature just isn't rising. Which is sad. Oh, 
Oh, is the sun still not high enough? It's more boring than I thought it would be. Anyway, let's take our helmet off. Oof. Oh, passing out. Death, take me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so we're going to a Mars mission this time. And I'll show you some of the complexities of this game. Because if you... It's kind of like a mix of uh, space engineers. Oh, hold on. You guys didn't see all that stuff because of the stupid subscription goal. There we go. I guess I can move this up a bit as well. Ah, jeez. Move that up there. There we go. Welcome to Mars. It's not as hot here. <laughs> this is more of a chiller planet. Further away from the sun. Uh, it still gets kind of hot during the days. But also gets really cold during the nights. It's like a desert. Like a Sahara desert. But at least this place has an atmosphere. So I gotta deconstruct this. Stick this in my backpack. What's up, KJ? And screw those messages. I hate that. We got our construction kits. Now, Mars' uh, atmosphere is mainly comprised of CO2, N2, O2, and chlorine, which is still bad, but it's manageable. I'm doing well. You missed uh, an explosion and me melting. As I visited Vulcan, a planet orbiting a... a Volcano planet orbiting the event horizon of a black hole, and uh, Venus, a very hot planet. Melt Fox, yes. Now, I saw someone do this design, so I'm going to copy them just a little bit. Uh, we want sheets. Alright. 
And it's just a good starting kind of thing right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, this is fine for now. So we have this and this. We'll just gotta uh, build a glass house. You know what they say about glass houses? Well, you're a dumb idea. That's going to be our door. Please protect me. There we go. Worst rosting that could happen is a rock to by Martian shatters it. Well, I mean, these have pretty high impact rate. But yes, it wouldn't be good. Uh, we'll get... A power controller? Wow. Uh... We'll change this. That is true. Everything can be broken if it's heated hard enough. Please protect me. Say hello to my glass house. Dies of death. <laughs> oh, yeah, we also need uh, 
No, not this one. The other one. this, put that away, we grab this, it's a little bit late, but it's fine, please protect me, so we have a small solar panel, it's flat, does not get enough charge, uh, but that's fine, Take this out of this. We'll shove that there. I'll take this. We'll shove that there. We have our wires. Backwards, I guess. Of course, why I didn't. All right. Oh, wait, no, I did. I did put it in the right way. There we go. Alright, so this is our basically our breaker box that can hold an extra charge for a battery. They can be there. Uh, we have arc furnace, solid generator. This arc furnace we can have in here. I can go there. go. So I made an auto lace. This can yeet. This can also yeet. Uh, so this auto lace will help produce different things that I'll need. I just need to connect it. Alright. 
this is turning around. That's right, we're seeing the ass. There we go. So these are all connected. Uh, I saw the generator. We're not going to worry about that yet. We got drawers. Door to door. And also for the airlock I'm going to make at some point. Oh, I'll take this and this. We'll put the console over here. And the vent over here. We got this battery. That can go in here. I need this battery charger and the sensor. This is going to be a gas sensor. Okay, all right there for now. Might change it later. That's going to go there on the floor. There we go. Um, ah, I need this. Pipes, take this. We got other things, different batteries. These are useful. A random video appears in the DMs. All right, let me take a look. While I wait for daytime. All right, muting. Talking seashell on beach prank. <laughs> that was nice. All right, that was a nice prank. There we go. I can go in there. All right, so my main goal in this, I'm surprised the stream is running so well. I've been addicted to this game. I don't know why. It's just so cool. It, it's I've had it for a while, but I have really done anything extreme with it. Like I've been doing. And I think that's because of all the updates that have rolled out for it so far. So we have our water, we have an ore scanner, ground penetrating radar, 
We have all our seeds and food. We even have an oxygen tank. But the main goal is just to enjoy trying to survive on another planet. I enjoy myself so far. So we need to switch out this belt. This is our mining belt. This is the thing we have mining stuff for. We have, I guess, silicone. I believe there's a silicone, yes. A silicone, we can mine some silicone. We'll just take a bit. We want to remember where our house is. Last thing we want to do is forget where it, where it is. All right, so we found some iron. That's mine, a crap ton of iron. I'm leaving some on the surface so I can come back here. Alright, we got quite a few iron. Uh, uh, it's cobalt. I haven't seen cobalt before. I think it's just the one. You get those every now and then. We got coal here. We got gold over here. Is this copper? This is copper. Good. I was afraid it was just going to be the one. Copper is important because it makes wires. Almost done. Oh yeah, I was going to turn my music back on. It'd help if you guys could hear things too. This is gold. We need some gold. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a lot.
What is this music? Chill. That's fine. I know Mongolian throat singing. Because it was weird sounding. It's the stuff. What if we did nothing more than this? There's a bunch of copper around. Please remember what I said about magic. Remember what I told you about us. More gold. See it glinty from afar. You know how girls talk in a higher pitch when they're talking to someone they like? That's how girls talk to me. Are you saying girls like you? No. <laughs> Just completely deep. Can't find anything else. All right, fine. Let's go. We got s some more. Put the ore in here. We turn it on. We process. <laughs> Imagine someone loving me. Oh. Imagine someone loving me. Jeez.
This... The song is giving me anxiety. Hold on. I don't know if having this is inside is such a good idea. Because it puts off heat and uh, chemical in the air. Different chemicals in the air. I don't really need it in the air. Picture up here suddenly. All right, let me see. This piece is called anxiety. It's just sad, but it keeps getting faster. This is stressing me out. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that before, and I totally agree. Nothing worse than sped up silence. Lost a cable coil. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it's in there. Basically, just said peace and just left. Record silence and then blasted over speakers and the whole room would be silent. If only. If only uh, logic worked that way. If only silence logically worked that way. That's what I meant to say. Copper. So a decent amount of battery. You can sort out, but then there's a video chance accidentally capturing a ghost. <gasps> Really? It's only a 50-50 chance? I think that's a lot shorter than that. The chance of you being near a ghost is like 100%. All the heat from the room is quickly being pulled out. That's what all these particles are.
Yeah, it's so freaking cold out here. Negative 60 degrees Celsius. That's how cold it is. <laughs> I mean, if a house is sold to you very cheap, it means it haunted. But the real estate person rather goes, take this bargain of a price. I don't know. Haunted houses are cool, though. If it was actually haunted, of course. Hawks, what's up? Ah, oh, this is taking forever. Gold is gonna take longer. Gold takes forever to smelt. Have you haunted house in the world? Uh, your house? You get 20,000 if you pass it. Pass what? Wait, what are you guys talking about? Is there a haunted house that you actually get money if you manage to spend the night or something in it? <laughs> no, my bed is the loneliest place. Oof, man, come on. Uh, I need... Honestly, I don't really need anything. I just need to build these doors. Which is... A welding torch. And a crowbar with uh, sheets. Uh, 20k if you make it through the haunted house. You send a contract to even attempt it. No one has made it yet. What's so terrifying about it? People died in there apparently. Pretty sure haunted place can result in harm or becoming a ghost yourself. That's usually the case. It's the McKamey Manor. Hold on, I want to look this up really quick. Pause the chill music. McKamey. 
Ah, McKinney Manor. McKinney Manor presents decent throw or just got personal. Dark tourist requirements. Only a regional extreme haunted attraction and survival horror challenge. The year city you must meet basic requirements. 21 and above or 18 to 20 with parents approval. Interesting. Completed sports physical and doctor's letter saying you are physically and mentally cleared. Pass a background check provided by MM. MM. Uh, be screened via Facebook, FaceTime, or phone. Proof of medical insurance. Sign a detailed 40-page waiver. Damn! Pass a portable drug test on the day of the show. Okay. Desolation. Reservations only. Hmm. What is this? Must watch. Well, that's terrifying. It's legal, to legal torture, basically. Warning. And haunt rules. McKamey Manor. Intense audio lighting. Extreme low visibility. Strobe and fog effects. Damp and wet conditions. Physically demanding environments. Close contact with creatures. You might be touched. Very real and graphic scenes of horror. Not recommended if you are pregnant, claustrophobic, have seizures, heart or respiratory conditions, or a big wimp. Wow. Okay. No smoking, drinking, eating, running inside, or touching of props and or actors. McKamey Manor reserves the right to refuse submission to anyone for any reason. The guests, you, voluntarily assumes all risks, dangers associated with the participation in this event. Enter at your own risk. Be warned, McKamey Manor is not your standard boo haunted house. This is an audience participation event in which you will live your own horror movie. This is a rough, intense, and truly frightening experience. You must be in great health to participate. Last year's haunt was absolutely nothing compared to the new McKamey Manor. New for 2020, McKamey Manor presents Descent, the new evolution in the interactive survival horror theater. Understand that each tour will be different based on your personal fears. It can last up to six hours. Damn. Uh... Each guest will be mentally and physically challenged until you reach your personal breaking point. Do not wear expensive clothing. Do not bring anything that can get wet. Cannot get wet. This can be an aggressive experience and our actors will come in contact with you. You cannot in any way return the contact. If anyone becomes rowdy, pushing, shoving, running, they will immediately be removed. No questions asked. Anyone that has been drinking alcohol or taking drugs will not be allowed into the haunt. You will be asked to leave the property. At check-in, you will be required to show ID. The waiver process for descent will last two hours. One performance only per week, rare round. Specific requirements must be met in order to ever take the tour. Think about the average 10 to 20 minute haunt or a theme park of ha at Halloween and what you're ex you've experienced. Was it really interactive and scary? At the new McKamey Manor, you will experience thrills that you have never seen before. You will be tested to your very core. If things become too much, you can always quit if we let you. Damn. You really don't want to do this. Damn. Holy crap. That is kind of messed up. But that is really interesting. Photos. Legal torture. <laughs> Oof.
That must be terrifying. That's horrifying. Oh, God. Some of these are pretty messed up. Extreme Haunted House keeps 20k prize as no one completes challenge. Halloween is right around the corner, and that means most towns are probably offering the Haunted House Corn Maze or Ricky Me Manor. Summertown, Tennessee has never had someone complete the full experience. The $20,000 prize for completion has ne forever remained untouched. The majority of contestants never even officially begin what founder Russ McCamey calls the game. Wow, really? Being that it's the spooky season, most of it has scared off. Russ McCamey is not really painted in that great of a light, but you the documentaries and the fact to have interaction with right? his manner and the general calendar community share the same statements. When I use the hypnosis, I can put you in a kiddie pool with a couple of inches of water and tell you there's a great shark in there. You're going to think there's a shark in there. And so when you have the kind of power over people, you have to do and see things that you want them to see. When they can leave here, it can't really happen. And they'll go to the authorities and say, oh, whatever. I have to come back and share the footage and say, it didn't go that way at all. Santiago. Physical, psychological, and emotional torture to force guests to quit. Waterboarding, assault, and forcing patrons to eat and drink unknown substances. Or just a few of the methods McCamey Manor uses to keep that prize money. Previously, the use of a safe word was not allowed. Really? The price of McCamey is a bag of dog food for Russ McCamey's. Pets. Guests must also sign a 40-page waiver. Pass a physical and background check. The waiting list is currently 24,000 people long. Holy crap. Numerous complaints have been filed against McCamey Manor. The police have been called many, many times. Participant Laura Hans Burton says she was ignored after using her C4 numerous times. She later went to the hospital for extensive injuries. Jeez. Uh, anywhere from four to eight hours. They say just to the terrifying Halloween haunted house that you don't rest from the damage. Beaten the community, a thousand have tried, and everyone has failed. The current record is six hours. Uh, Russ McCain explained the updated became a manner, followed by roughly 90 minutes of potentially disturbing content featuring videos of all those who have quit. Oof. Ew. Well, waterboarding and such. Uh, uh I didn't actually, I'd like I said, they go towards it and it's personalized. It's fears. It's IRL dead by daylight. Well, waterboarding and such. <laughs> Damn. That's, uh, that's pretty hardcore. That's hardcore horror. I don't know if I'd be down for that, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if I'll be able to do something like that. So, when I make a field trip, no thank you. I'm all up for, you know, some horror, but you know, honestly... I could do without. Come on. There it goes. That's hooked up. Go too far. Oh, 
Oh, are you done? Good. Then I can go in there. Uh, you're yellow. What I need to do is I need to make... What I need to do is I need to make uh, an electronic sprinter. And I can go ahead and do that thing. It's going to take a minute. I need to finish wiring this. I don't like that. I can go in there like this. There we go. No, you're not done. You didn't print it. I need it printed. There we go. Doors are the only thing I really need to work on. Okay. So apart from that... to shoot this over here. There we go. He's going to go over here. Come on, hurry. Hurry up! At one point, you can actually make a furnace. That's an uh, an arc furnace, which uses electricity to burn things. But you can actually make an actual furnace, and you combine both oxygen and uh, uh, hydrogen. In order to get the furnace hot enough. I think that's so cool because think about it. You're actually using the chemicals to actually do that. And it's, ah. Oh. I haven't actually gotten to that point because at one point you need to actually just continue. But I always find a flaw with my base. Something that I want to change and stuff like that. There we go.
Now we have an electronics. over here turn this on we're gonna make a basic solar panel tactful what's up thank you for joining we're only making the one we need glass Okay, any more wires? I think four should be enough. Four or five. charge we can keep our internal temperature nice and cool let me go to a wedding party me see you later all right bye KJ thank you for joining me for this it, well it's gonna be a small stream so it's whatever thank you for the hydrate Yeah, I don't. I wasn't planning on going for too long anyway. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Nice and warm at a twenty degrees Celsius. How Alexa, what's twenty degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Twenty degrees Celsius is sixty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, so it's nice in here. So sci-fi life away. Turned off. You can be in there. At least it's not too cold. Unfortunately, I just don't have the battery power to do much else. So I guess I'll just sit in the dark. Well, I'll go ahead and end it here. I'll probably go ahead and play a few more minutes. 
but uh, I'll go ahead, go ahead and end the stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I need to get some sleep and go to work tomorrow. Fun! Uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.